Hello Year 6, my name is Mr Oakes and I am an English teacher at Hermitage Academy. So if you have been taking part in the quizzes and um, in the transition videos, you may remember me and I asked you a Harry Potter question. Um, but if you don't remember me, that's fine. We will meet next year, I'm sure. So today we are going to do a little bit of work on creating characters. Now, what's a character? That's something to think about just before we get started. So characters are obviously um, people or animals or creations in stories. Um, stories could be books, like obviously there's a lot behind me, um, but they could also feature in films, TV shows, plays, games. It goes on and on and on. Now, you may have created some characters of your own in primary school. If you were asked to write a story, you would have put people or animals or things in situations and written about the things that happened to them. But today, we are going to look at creating a character that we know inside out, back to front, and we are going to do a little bit of a creative writing task where we put our characters into interesting stories that already exist. Let's have a go. Now, what I would like you to do first is get yourself a blank piece of paper. Now, this can be any kind of paper. It could be plain, it could be lined, squared, whatever. But I would say you need the size of like A4, so like the size of an exercise book. Um, and what you are going to do is you are going to draw a stick man in the middle so it looks a little something like this. Now, I've put a happy face on my character because I think my character is going to be a happy character but if you are not sure what kind of character yours is going to be yet you may want to leave their smile blank for now you can add it later and all you are going to do is you are going to answer 10 questions about your character now the reason we are doing this is because when you write a story which you will be asked to do a lot in year 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 even further if you want to stay for longer you will be writing lots of different stories and the best way to write a good story is to create amazing characters. What you are going to do when I ask you a question, you are going to write the answer somewhere around your stick person. Um, and I'm going to do it along with you and show you my working out as we go. Sound like a plan? I hope so. Okay, so the first question that we are going to answer about our character and try and approach this with an open mind is does your character have any brothers or sisters and do they get along? Hmm. So I'm thinking about my character. Um, yeah. Yes. Okay, so I have got, yes, they have a brother and a sister, but I don't think that they get along with their sister. But I don't know why yet, and we're going to find that out, hopefully, as I get to know my character a little bit more. The second question is, does your character do any sports? So for this, I've got, yes, ice hockey. And all you'll do is, as I, answer the as I ask you the rest of the questions, you are going to write around the outside. This might look a bit messy, that's absolutely fine your answers and by the end we're going to have a piece of paper with your character on and lots of things around them around the outside question three do they have a best friend and who are they question four would your character rather have a cup of tea or a can of coke number five does your character think that they are smart stupid or average now this is important it's not about whether your character is smart or not it's about whether they think they are so what do they think about themselves number six how old is your character number seven does your character have a favorite film number eight what is your character's favorite food number nine does your character have any secrets Ooh. and finally after all of that thinking about your character number ten what is their name? So what you're going to do once you've created your character is you are going to decide a story that you already know and love and you are going to write a part of that story again and put your character in it. I am now going to introduce you to my character. Okay, so my character is 21 years old. Okay, and um, he thinks he's average 
in terms of his intelligence, but he actually has psychic abilities that he just thinks are dreams. So he's actually very intelligent. He just doesn't realise it yet. He loves pizza a lot and he would always take a can of Coke over a cup of tea. And finally, his name is Samuel. So what I am going to do with Samuel is I am going to put him into this story, which is called The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Um, and this is a story about a world where there are no women. OK, the women have been apparently killed in a war and there's only men and animals left. But what's happened is that because of what happened in this war, you can hear the thoughts of every single person around you. So if you're near someone, you can hear exactly what's going through their head, which can cause some problems sometimes, as I'm sure we can imagine. Let's have a look at what my colleagues, the other English teachers at Hermitage Academy have created. Um, and once you've done that, I would like you to set about putting your character into a story. OK, it's been lovely chatting to you. I hope you've made some interesting characters and I can't wait to meet you all next year. Bye. Hello, Year 6. My name's Mrs Jewell and I'm an English teacher at the Hermitage. Now, Mr Oakes gave me the same task as you and asked me to create my own character. And here they are. So my character is called Kaya. Kaya is 40 years old and loves to play rounders in the summer. They love Diet Coke, but don't really like cups of tea. Their best friend is called Zeba and their favourite food is custard. Now, I'm going to see how Kaya does in my favourite book, The Kite Runner. And The Kite Runner is actually set in Afghanistan and follows the story of 12-year-old Amir. Good luck for creating your character and I can't wait to hear all about them in September. Hi again. So, as you might already remember, my name is Mrs Bulmer I am an English teacher as well as looking after transition and I would like you to meet my character. So my character is a pixie. She's called Sage. She has two best friends, an old lady who lives next door and her talking tree at the bottom of her garden. She has a favourite food, two favourite foods, flowers and berries and she is 384 years old. And one last fact about her, um, she has a big secret and it's a password into a forbidden garden and she's the only person that knows the password. Which book would I choose to put my character in? Well you may have spotted I am in my little girl's nursery who is coming up to and we have a very favourite book at the moment and it is The Girl and the Dinosaur and I think Sage would fit perfectly into this book. Hi everyone, my name is Mrs Andrew and I'm an English teacher at Hermitage Academy. I'm going to show you my character, so here I go. Right, here he is. Hope you like his hair. That's a lockdown hairstyle. Okay, so he's got two sisters. They're both older than him. Um, one of them he gets on with, um, but the oldest one um, is a bit of a pain in the bum. And is always telling him off. All right, number two. So he likes skateboarding. To begin with, I said cycling, but I think a skateboard's better because you can get into all of the little nooks and crannies around the city. Um, number three. So he's actually got two best friends. Um, one's a girl and one's a boy, and they are they're really really close, and they love spending loads of time with each other. Number four, his favourite drink is a can of full fat Coke and um, he, he likes to have ice with his Coke too but he will drink it straight from the can if he's pressed for time. Okay, um, so he does come across as a bit stupid, he doesn't know many things but he is I'd like to think that he is an intuitive character, so he's got emotional intelligence. Um, so number six. So yes, he's a he's a teenager. Um, so he's thirteen years old. So just on the cusp of becoming a teenager. Number seven. His favorite film is The Goonies, 
And number eight, his favourite food is nachos with guacamole and jalapenos. He likes it spicy. And number nine, no, he doesn't have any secrets. He was, I was going to say that he did have some secrets, but then I decided, no, he's just... He's just a very honest character, although he doesn't have any secrets at the minute, but I think that he might end up having one. And his name is Kevin. Okay, so that's my character. Bye, Kevin. Hello, Year 7. Uh, I'm Mrs. Jameson, okay, and I'm one of the teachers, uh, English teachers at the Hermitage. All right, now you're going to be doing some character uh, creating. Um, so we've also done it as well. So I want to introduce you to my character. I'm not going to tell you their name just yet. All right. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about them. So here's my character. All right. There you go. Now, my character um, has a lot of brothers and sisters. All right. Um, she has five sisters and two brothers. All right, but unfortunately, the two brothers aren't still alive. All right, now that might have something to do with the time that she lived in. All right, that people didn't, uh, you know, have long lives. All right, um, she doesn't play sports because sports weren't really um, a thing, especially not for girls. All right, she might play something like coits or with a stick and a hoop. All right, and that might give you some clues as to perhaps the time period that we're talking about. All right, so um, she she doesn't really have a best friend because she doesn't she doesn't go to school. Girls didn't go to school; they only went to Sunday school. So her best friends are probably two of her sisters, Annie and Martha. Okay, um, we were asked what our favourite drink was, and you know the option was Coke. Coke hadn't been invented, or if it had, it was called something else, all right? So yes, probably a cup of tea, or something strange called sarsaparilla. Oh, okay. Um, my character knows they are smart, but, um, you know, they're not allowed to go to school because they're a girl, okay? And they have to leave school really early, um, you know, Sunday school really early uh, when they uh, go off to work. All right, um, so my character is 14 years old, a little bit older than you, a lot younger than me. Um, they do have a favourite story, all right, um, because they didn't go to see films, because films hadn't been invented then, all right, or were just about to be invented in Hollywood. Um, but she does have a favourite story, and it's called The Cricket on the Hearth, and it's a nice little book that she reads with her family. All right. Um, she doesn't have um, any favourite sweets because sweets were really rare. So her favourite foods are normally homemade ginger biscuits. All right. And oranges because they were really luxurious and really hard to come by. All right. Something that we take for granted today. Um, she actually has a, a story about her name because um, her real name is Jenny. But because there was another Jenny at school, she was forced to change her name to Jean. All right, imagine just being forced to change your name. And, uh, you know, that's that's just the way things were. So we got asked about which, um, which modern book we would put our character into, okay? Um, so I would put my character into this book, all right? And this book is called The Power all right, now my character has no power, all right? The time is 1912 and she is just growing up in England. She can't go to school. She has to go out to work as a maid. So I would like to put her into this book, which is all about how women are the most powerful gender on earth, all right? So good luck to you, Year 7. You enjoy your task. And we'll see you in some way in September. Hello Year 6, my name's Mrs Howard and I'm an English teacher here at Hermitage Academy. And I'm here today to tell you a little bit about a character that I've created on this sheet. My character has lots of older brothers uh, and that's taught her to be very tough and very resilient and not take any rubbish from anybody. 
my character enjoys running, but mostly running into danger and running away from responsibility. She's also been known to embark on some wild camping for certain lengths of time in her short life already. My character doesn't have any best friends. She likes to keep herself to herself, but she does have one particular friend called Nelson, who's a nine-year-old cat, and they're inseparable. Nelson only has one eye. My character loves any kind of disaster movie. It really excites her, the action and the adventure, and she quite often wishes that she was the star of her own film. My character sees herself as being incredibly smart, and we might not think so because she quite often gets into some scrapes, into some difficult situations, but she does see herself as quite smart and not to be outwitted. Cup of tea or can of coke? Well, in my character's case, it's a can of coke. Um, it can be used in many, many different ways. If you shook a can and sprayed it in somebody's face, it gives you that extra few seconds just to get out of danger if you need to. And my character's favourite food, sandwich spread sandwiches. If you haven't tried sandwich spread sandwiches yet, you must. They're lovely. However, she's got a secret love of knitting and crochet, but don't tell anyone. It's not what a fearless tomboy should indulge in. My character is called Nina and she is 11 years old. And I think my character would fit quite nicely into this book, one of my favourites. It's called How I Live Now by Meg Rosoff. And it's a story of Daisy. She's a 15 year old girl and she is sent to England to live with her auntie and cousins who she's never met before. And um, her auntie goes away to work and doesn't return. And they're in the middle of a war. So this book's all about learning how to work together and learning to survive without adults. And, and it's about the journey that people go through through life and, and about life experiences. So I think my character Nina would fit quite nicely in there. She's probably going to be found hiding out in a garage somewhere, her and the cat. And I think with her skills and experience, she'd be able to teach Daisy a thing or two but she'd also learn how to survive and work together with other people as well. Thank you for listening. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all in September. Until then, take care. Bye. Hello Year 6, I'm Mrs Boyle and I teach Health and Social Care, which is a subject you might choose as one of your options in Year 9. In health and social care, we learn all about growth and development and all of the different health and social care services. You might have heard a lot about the NHS recently and the fantastic work that they are doing. My question for you is, what does the NHS stand for and when was it founded? Hi, year six. My name is Miss Breton and I teach philosophy and ethics at Hermitage Academy. My question for you is, there are six major world religions. Can you name all six and tell me their place of worship? I look forward to meeting you in September.